Commission meeting for uh, August 17th. Uh, let's do the pledges. Okay. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Honor the Texas, Texas flag. flag. I pledge allegiance to Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Okay, um, case file number 2023-60-P. Uh, this is an open hearing. Um, well, I was just going in order. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we'll do the consent items first. Uh, case number file 2023-19-P. Uh, case no file number 2023-34-P. And case number 2023-45-P. Uh, we have a motion for these. I apologize. 2023-60-P is a short form plat. That one goes into the public hearing. The case files that are final are the number three, four, and five. Okay. So those are the ones that are in okay. consent. And I don't apologize. we have to don't, do it? Do, don't have any minutes? Mm -hmm. uh, we do have minutes. They're not here. They're not on our agenda. No, they're on our agenda. Yeah. We do have minutes from August 3rd as well. I move approval of minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. So now we have the consent items. Uh, do we have a motion on the consent items? I move to approve the consent items as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, now the public hearings. Case file number 2023-60-P. Uh, motion approving the short form plat of states at 87th, third filing being a 0 .0895 acre track located in section 38, block 41, T-1-S TMP Railroad Company Survey, City of Odessa, Hector County, Texas. Generally located on the southwest corner of the intersection of 87th and Hunter Miller Way. Staff. Uh, the applicant LCA is seeking to replat a 0.895 acre tract located in section 38, block 41 T-1-S TNP RR Co Survey, City of Odessa, Actor County, Texas, for ownership purposes. This request has been routed to all respective departments. No objections have been received. Comments are below. Uh, therefore, staff recommends approval of this short form plat of estates at 87th third filing, subject to condition A. And we are now open for any questions. Thank you. This is a public hearing. Does anyone from the public have any questions or comments? Anyone on the board have a question for staff? Do we have a motion for this? Case? Move for approval. Second. Second. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Case file number 2023-45-P in the ETJ. Motion approving the final plat of West Way Casey addition. First filing being a 100-acre tract of land located in the northwest corner of section 43, block 43, T-2-S, TMP, Railroad Company. The West Third Street in South Trip Avenue. So this will be for 2023-11-Z. 
and that goes as following. The applicant, Leco Energy, owner and LCA agent are requesting the initial zoning of a 5.52 acre tract of land located in section two, block 42, T-2-S, TNP, RO Cove Survey, city of Odessa, Ector County, Texas. The current zoning for this uh, lot is future development district. The property to the north is zoned as light commercial district. Properties to the east are located in the ETJ. Properties to the south and west are zoned as future development district. The property involved in this request is located on the west side, North Grandview Avenue, approximately 780 feet south of Yukon Road. The site is currently designated as future development and it is currently vacant and undeveloped. The applicant is LCA, Lico Energy owner, and the purpose of the original zoning request is create light commercial development in the area. Using the city's identified priorities contained in the city of Odessa's comprehensive plan to evaluate zoning amendments, the following comments are offered. This request is not out of line with the city of Odessa's comprehensive plan. The property is located near to a light commercial district, which allows for light commercial uh, zoning and the associated less intense uses. The proposed zoning would not have a negative impact on the site or surrounding properties. The proposed light commercial development is not out of line with development in the area. Finally, the proposed zoning district will facilitate a reasonable transition between land uses of varying intensities and would not create a conflict to the existing land uses in the area. Uh, based on the preceding analysis, staff rec recommends approval of this zone change request. We are now open for any questions. Thank you. Um, I apologize. I do have a comment to make on this. Um, the location, the light commercial zoning district that they're planning to place um, in that area is not surrounded by light commercial. It is surrounded by uh, mm -hmm. SPD. SF3 and SPD zoning. However, uh, they are trying to um, do a light transition for retail use in that area or for commercial use in that area. Could I ask on this plat, why is this little sliver uh, of land between those two properties? What is that? That little sliver, that little box below? It's a, uh, um, it used to be a, <coughs> yes. Yeah, yeah I'll John, what that was, yeah. <laughs> what is this little sliver to the north of this property between those talking two? talking right here that goes across? Does it look like a road? No, I'm talking about on the north side, this little sliver between these two yeah. properties. The square. Let me see what you're looking at. Well, this may not be to scale or something, but there's a little sliver of property right in between these two. Bad engineering. Uh, that, that's a bad line drawn. Okay, okay, the, okay. They, they are contiguous. Uh, this is the first piece that Mr. Lee, Lee goes on, and then the next piece that, that's the case today uh, is contiguous to it. Okay, that makes and, sense. And, just and it little... comes down to the end of his ownership mm -hmm. and then there's a, yeah. a pipeline and a drill site uh, that'll be between it and the and the residential stuff you see. To the so side. that little sliver actually doesn't exist? It does not exist. Okay. Hmm. No. This so it's, just buddy, it's butting site. up right next to all that residential that they have going on right in there? So it's, it's No. No. It's not. There's a if you if you look at the drawing mm -hmm. that's up there, mm -hmm. yeah, the SPD goes up to that dark line, the pipeline, mm -hmm. and then between his property now, the FD and the and the single family mm -hmm. is a long drill site that goes across that hat that whole section. Okay. And so it's it's one of those super pads where they'll be drilling horizontal wells. Okay. And they've been abandoning, as y'all remember. The drill sites down there uh, okay. in the rest of that section okay. and Larry's starting to go back and fill in and develop those because he gave they made a deal with the oil company and Houston Endowment and they make nights for a, okay. a drill site and he kept the frontage <coughs> along Yukon Road for commercial development.
Any other questions? This is a public hearing. Does anybody from the public have a comment or comment? Okay, do we have a motion? I move to approve case file num number 2023-11-Z. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And we are adjourned. No further, uh, no further business. No further business. Good. No.